The Power of Community. Obsidian has a thriving online community where you can find a wealth of helpful tips and tricks. However, it can be quite overwhelming, especially for beginners who haven't yet settled on a system that works for them. In this section of the guide, I'll provide a brief overview of some key Obsidian community members whose insights have been particularly valuable for me on my own journey. While there are many knowledgeable contributors, these are some of the main voices that have influenced my Obsidian usage and workflow. Here are some of the main topics each member covers on their channels. First member we'll look at is Nick Milo. Nick is the founder of Linking Your Thinking. He runs paid Linking Your Thinking workshops on his website has his own YouTube channel. He is the founder of the Linking Your Thinking Kit, has a very good theory on emergence, uses the access system, and starts by using a three-tier template. Nick uses consistent headings and formattings in his vault. He is also the founder of the Cybertron theme. Zoltz Visual PKM, founder of the amazing Excalibur plugin, which I use to create a lot of my visual aids on this channel and this kit. Zoltz is a visual thinker if you're really into mind maps, visual PKM systems and diagrams, I highly recommend checking out his channel. Brian Jenks. Brian uses emojis as tags. He saves his content into Raindrop. He uses special characters as a prefix for searching his notes. He utilizes data view quite a lot. He doesn't really use folders. I would say his vault is more of a Zettelkasten layout. He also uses the seedling to evergreen theory. He has a lot of great content on his channel. Would recommend checking him out. Nicole van der Hoven. Nicole likes bookmarks. She's very big on data view queries. She believes in organic growth uses maps of contents, nests her tags. She doesn't like folders, but she does use them in her vault. She has over 100 videos of Obsidian on her channel, and I would recommend checking her out. From Sergio. From Sergio has a really good playlist to getting started with Obsidian. The videos are short, concise, provide a lot of helpful information. He has some in-depth data view tutorials. His videos provide value. Mastering Obsidian is easy to digest for beginners. He also covers some automation for your vault, like movie databases, book libraries, etc. I would definitely recommend checking out from Sergio. Darby. Darby has an excellent beginner's guide tutorial to Obsidian. He is also a Notion user. He uses indexes, maps of content. He usually copies and pastes his literature notes to save time. I would say his vault is merging into a Zettelkasten structure. His beginner's guide to Obsidian is quite quite useful and I would recommend checking that out if you've got the time. Darby has a great example of the Zettercaster method with literature, practical and distilled notes to show his work. If you're someone who likes to research and take book notes, definitely check out his channel. Danny Talks Tech. If you like long in-depth tutorials with information about extending Obsidian, Danny is your man. Danny's channel is good when your vault starts to grow and you want to learn more about Obsidian. Danny really likes making videos and his favorite color appears to be orange. Odysseys. If Obsidian seems overwhelming and less is more, then check out Odysseys, a minimalist at heart who has a really interesting vault structure. He doesn't like to use community plugins and isn't a perfectionist. If you just want to get started writing and learning, check out Odysseys. His templates are basic and focus on writing and learning. Effective. I haven't seen much of Effective's channel. However, he uses basic templates. His YAML contains tags and aliases. He links to references and topics, uses maps of content, learns with Kindle Readwise into Obsidian. His PKM process is learning, thinking, then creating. I would say overall his fault is Settlecaston. So there you have it, nine examples of Obsidian community channels that will be extremely helpful for you to find and develop a system that works for you. This brings us to the end of the series. Have fun building your system inside Obsidian. And remember, your future hasn't been written yet. No one says. Your future is whatever you make it, so make it a good one. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.